welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about thermoregulation. Now thermo means heat and regulation is to do with control of. It's to do with the control of body temperature. Because body temperature must be very finely controlled. If body temperature drops down too much, very soon we have problems. Hypothermia, low body temperature. If body temperature rises, very soon we get into problems. Hyperthermia. We need a fine regulation of body temperature. We are homeothermic organisms. Now, why do you think it is that body temperature needs to be so finely regulated? Why can't we work fine with a temperature of 45 degrees centigrade or 25 degrees centigrade? Well, you probably realised that the key thing is that enzymes are temperature specific. So within all of the cells of the body, there are enzymes which catalyse biochemical reactions. So in any cell, you might have substance A, for example. And that needs to be chemically converted to substance B. Now, this won't happen on its own. There must be an enzyme that catalyzes the reaction. For example, it could be enzyme A. The enzymes have all got different names. So all biochemical reactions are facilitated by enzymes. And enzymes are complicated protein structures. They are complicated proteins. They are big macromolecules. And the configuration of the enzyme will actually alter. The molecular architecture of the enzyme will alter if the temperature alters. The enzymes work optimally at normal body temperature. So the shape of the enzymes must be maintained in order to maintain their activity, their functionality. The functionality of the enzymes must be maintained to maintain our biochemistry. If biochemistry is not maintained, then the cells will not work properly. The tissues which the cells compose will not function properly. And organs and systems of the body will not function properly. So temperature must be very finely controlled because of the need for the enzymes to work properly. Now this means there needs to be a balance between the amount of heat which is gained by the body and the amount of heat which is lost by the body. So total heat gain and total heat loss must balance out to maintain a normal body temperature. Now what do you call it when you have a system which is balancing things out in the body? Well, homeo means the same. Stasis means the state of things. So this is an example of a homeostatic mechanism. Homeostasis. You remember other examples of homeostasis, I'm sure. For example, the pH in the blood needs to be accurately controlled. Again, that is to maintain the functionality of the enzymes. The amount of sugar in the blood needs to be homeostatically controlled so that the cells have enough nutrients to maintain metabolic processes. So body temperature, thermoregulation, is another example of homeostasis. It is a parameter which must be finely controlled in order to maintain physiological health.